Statistics show that over 9,000% of you will watch this video to the end. Not really. But you should, because did you know that those who report having poor sleep or low sleep quality have a 26% lower sperm count than those who had a full night's sleep? The study at the University of Chicago also showed that the sperm themselves had more malformities in healthy young males in their mid-twenties. SleepGods.com Hi, I'm Brandon, and if you're interested in getting a higher quality sleep, then head to SleepGods.com slash video and get my free animated video on 21 sleep tips. In the 1990s, NASA found that a 26-minute nap generated a 34% increase in task performance and a whopping 54% in overall alertness. You might think that getting 6 hours of sleep instead of 8 hours is only taking away 25% of your sleep. Now while that's true for sleep quantity, it's not true for sleep quality. You'll lose 60-90% to of restorative REM sleep because REM typically occurs during the second half of the night of a full night's sleep. A 2014 study found that employees with windows in the workplace received 173% more white light exposure during work hours and slept an average of 46 minutes per night than employees who did not have the natural light exposure in the workplace. Sleep researcher Matthew Walker, who you may have seen on Joe Rogan, studied two groups of healthy young adults. The amygdala is a key emotional hotspot in the brain that is linked to feelings of anger and rage. The study found that participants who stayed awake all night had a 60% amplification in emotional reactivity of their amygdala. Estimates show that upwards of 80% of those in the US could be deficient in magnesium, the anti-stress mineral that serves hundreds of functions in your body, including balancing blood sugar, relaxing tense muscles, optimizing blood pressure, reducing pain, and calming the nervous system. Sleep expert Sean Stevenson recommends transdermal magnesium over traditional magnesium supplements due to the supposed higher absorption rate of applying it through your skin. A study of sleep-deprived physicians saw that they took 14% longer to finish a task and made 20% more errors than those who were well-rested. Now I'm not a physician, but I can attest to this. I was riding my bike the other day, I put my phone in the little pocket, in the little front pocket of my, my motorized scooter, and I was so sleep deprived from partying night all, all the night before, I'd only got two hours sleep, and somehow I just didn't recognize it because my brain wasn't functioning that well. My phone slipped out of my motorbike, I didn't know, got back to my co-working space, there was my phone, or well, my phone case, but no phone and no cash, it had been stolen. It fell out my motorbike, I didn't even notice. And I was going so slow just up the ramp outside and it just slipped out, didn't even notice. And so that caused a bunch of charades. So moral of the story of my own, <laughs> my own studies, don't deprive yourself of sleep unless you're willing to accept the risks. Your parietal lobe and your prefrontal cortex lose 12 to 14% of their glucose when you don't sleep. These are the areas in your brain responsible for thinking, social control, and knowing the difference between right and wrong. So basically, you become dumber. A group of study participants... A group of study participants were equipped with body suits that allowed researchers to regulate their body temperature. Participants had a 58% probability of waking up in the second half of the night and struggled to fall back asleep, but the likelihood dropped to 4% when receiving thermal help from the body suit. Body temperature undeniably goes hand in hand with a good night's sleep, so ensure you are sleeping in a room with a temperature of around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 18.3 degrees Celsius for my fellow Aussies. Now if you're interested in getting a high quality sleep, please head to sleepgods.com slash video to get my free animated video of 21 sleeping tips. I'm Brandon from sleepgods.com and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe and watch the next video.